What's up, T-Bone? T-Bone tiptoeing, priceless. Yesterday was supposed to be the final day of the AHL's regular season. The Rampage were hoping to end their playoff push with a home game against the Texas Stars. Instead, it's been a month now since the AHL officially suspended play, and there's been no indication of when or even if they'll start back up. One thing that the players still in their contract, the Blues do know, is that they won't be in the Alamo City next year. They'll be playing for the Springfield Thunderbirds in Massachusetts. Team captain Jordan Nolan has experience playing in the Northeast, and he says that the returning players will have to adjust to a very different environment. I started my career in Manchester, New Hampshire. So Springfield, uh, I believe, is only maybe two hours away. So we played there a lot. So it was a, it was a, it was a smaller city. Um, it was a gritty city. All state taxes are different. Everything's different. The weather's different. But um, but yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot different. I think the travel's different. You're not on the on the planes as much. You're you're on the bus. So it's definitely a lot different than San Antonio. Congratulations to Rampage defensiveman Jake Wallman for being named the team's IOA American Specialty AHL Man of the Year. Wallman performed approximately 18 hours of service in community efforts this season, which includes the Rampage's face-off against kids cancer program and on-ice work with local San Antonio youth hockey teams. It's really sad to see hockey leave San Antonio once again from the Iguanas to the Dragons to the Rampage. It's been fun watching the teams play in the Freeman Coliseum and the AT&T Center. So we decided to look back at some of the fun times we had with hockey. Let's start first with the skit that almost got us fired in the sports department. All right, a couple of things to keep in mind. First off, this ended way better than we had planned. T-Bone, the Rampage mascot, was just supposed to hit the sides of the vending machine, but he continued to hit the glass and broke it on the third take. Also, former chief meteorologist Steve Brown just walked into the middle of our recording to get this coffee. He didn't even know. We thought a couple of us in the sports department were about to get suspended or fired over having a mascot damage our vending machine. In the end, the bosses just had a good laugh it all helped make this so memorable, and it's something we will play even after the Rampage franchise ends their time here in San Antonio. It may be the final game in the Ice House this year, but the fans were left with something to remember. With just over two minutes left in the game, the Iguanas and the Thunder got into a nice-sized melee. Five guys were sent to the showers early. The goalie, the mighty warrior, ready to stand tall and proud to defend his home between the pipes. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Channel 12. <laughs> you know what happens when the goalie stops the puck? Oh, the goalie's got a tough job, boy. Let's go drive! Uh, David Sears didn't lose any teeth playing hockey. He also got to cover the iguanas a lot while they were here in San Antonio. From game day reporting, finding out what it's like to be a goalie, and as you can see here, driving a Zamboni in Freeman Coliseum. Having access to a fun franchise always makes covering them better. <laughs> The human hockey puck, Greg, David, and I were launched from one end of the rink in the AT&T Center to the other to knock over six pins. Greg got none. 
as you can see, missing a wide left. David was really pumped up for this when he was launched right down the middle and he knocked down every single pin. I got my chance and was fired. But to the left, still, I reached out and got the strike, too. Thanks to all the Rampage staff from over the years that helped us have all this fun. You all will be missed, but let's hope we get to see a few more hockey games here when this coronavirus pandemic is over.